welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and I'm super excited you're here tonight with me because I'm going in the kitchen and I'm going to make a two ingredient apple and oatmeal cookie. Now these are super easy to make. Um, you probably have the ingredients in your cupboard already and um, I was watching what I was eating uh, back before the summer and a little bit at the beginning of summer and then those lattes and the dollar drinks from McDonald's really got to me. They were calling my name. So I went off track a little bit and um, now I'm back on track. I have been for a couple of weeks and um, this is just a treat I love to have with a cup of tea and uh, not feel guilty. And it's just, like I said, really, really easy to make. So let's go in the kitchen and get to. Okay, so what you're going to need for these two ingredient cookies are two cups of oatmeal and one cup of applesauce and um, that's all you really need. Sometimes I will add cranberries or chocolate chips or coconut if I want something just a little bit different. So it's really up to you, but this really is a two ingredient cookie. Everything else is just a bonus. You can add it if you like. Um, I sometimes have a chocolate sweet tooth and sometimes I like the chocolate chips. I might put them all in, we never know. So uh, let's get mixing this together and I'll show you how easy this is. And you'll also need some kind of a mixing bowl and a fork. Okay, so we're gonna start with the oats and we're gonna put those in our bowl. And then we're gonna follow that by our applesauce. And that's it. And we're just going to mix that around because you do want your oats to um, take in all the applesauce, all of that moisture. A really good mix. You can also use bananas instead of applesauce, but I just prefer mine with the applesauce. And I usually have it in the cupboard. I think I've heard of people using pumpkin as well. Um, you can ask, also um, put a little bit of um, cinnamon in here if you want. But um, I like it just with the applesauce and the oatmeal and then maybe some fruit or chocolate. I said you really want those oats to be covered in the applesauce mash it down and then I'm going to maybe add a bit of everything so I'm gonna put some cranberries in I'm gonna put some chocolate chips in and uh, a little bit of coconut but like I said, you don't have to add anything. Sometimes I eat them plain and they're really easy and quick to uh, put together. And you want your oven to be on 350 and um, you need a cookie sheet with some parchment paper so they don't stick. Oatmeal is one of my favorite things to eat. I love having it in the morning with some raisins. Okay, so that's good. We've got it all mixed up. I'm gonna go get my cooking, um, or my cookie tray and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my cookie sheet here with my parchment paper. And what you're gonna do is just take a handful of your mixture and you're just going to flatten it out Make the cookies the shape you want because these will not expand in the oven. And just put them down like that. And as a baker, it is very hard <laughs> not to put eggs, flour, um, you know, dairy in what I'm baking because it's more of a habit that I got used to a long time ago. And uh, 
you know, you really don't need all of that stuff. You can make cookies without it. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. But like I said, they won't expand. So the shape you put in the oven is the shape that you are going to get when you take them out. I'm going to go finish um, filling my tray and I will be right back. So the cookies are ready to go in the oven. Like I said, 350, you want your oven on and I'm going to bake them between 15 and 16 minutes or until they are starting to get a little brown around the edges. I'll see you back then. While we're in the kitchen waiting for our cookies, I'll just show you. I have been busy canning. Um, I'm glad I have one spot in the kitchen that I can um, film on because I have pots and bottles everywhere. But um, here I did these today and this is um, apple um, butter and uh, this is my apple jelly and what else? This is coleslaw and it also has beets in it and I made some salsa and what else did I make? I made um, regular uh, coleslaw and uh, we've already opened one of these it's very good um, my husband had it tonight with um, sausages and uh, I don't have it here but I made um, hot sauce and um, apple pie filling let me go get it and I'll show you so this is my hot sauce we call it our fire pit hot sauce uh, it was for my first time making it this year and um, I mean I can't eat it it is so hot my husband absolutely loves it on his eggs or you know whatever he's eating and the other thing we canned was um, apple pie filling and uh, I've not done this before either and um, yeah so uh, Maybe we'll make a pie for Thanksgiving or something, but these should keep for about six to eight months. Um, yeah, so uh, that's my stash. All of that so far. I still have a garden full of vegetables. I have tomatoes, um, so many tomatoes, lots of peppers, um, zucchinis. I have been cutting the zucchini up and um, freezing it. So we can make some zucchini um, bread or muffins or or use it in cooking in the winter time but uh, it's been a lot of hard work in fact just making these uh, little jars of apple butter I got four and um, it took me almost all day to cook that down but it's so rewarding but it's so rewarding and I'm so glad that I did all of this. I really, really am. We're set for the winter. Um, I'm gonna make spaghetti sauce, um, more hot sauce, um, and I'm not sure what else, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. But um, we have to take all of this stuff downstairs. But for now, it all stays on the counter. Let's check on our cookies. So here are the cookies out of the oven. They look great. I do like mine a little darker, so I left them in for two more minutes. So instead of 16, I put them in for 18 minutes. And uh, oh, the kitchen smells divine. <laughs> smells so good. Um, I'm going to let these sit for 10 minutes like you should any cookie, um, just so they don't fall apart. Let them cool, and then um, I'm going to plate them. I'll see you back then. So here are the cookies all plated up. They look divine. They look wonderful. Yes. So easy. Didn't take a lot of time. Yes. So I'm going to go back in the bedroom with my cookies and I will see you there. So here are the cookies that we made. Um, of course, they're never going to replace uh, a cookie that has flour and sugar and eggs and dairy, but they are a close second and they are healthy. 
I do have a batch in the oven um, that are just the two ingredients, the applesauce and the oatmeals, because that's probably what I'm going to eat um, instead of the ones with the goodies in them. But my family will eat these. I may have one of these just to try them. Um, but I sure hope that you try these at home. Um, like I said, 25 minutes and you have yourself a cookie and a guilt-free treat. So, with that being said, I hope you're having a fantastic night. And um, thank you so much for watching. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye for now.